Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're discussing um, Bravo's releasing. This is coming from Variety that they're going to basically reboot Real Housewives of New York City. Remember, we um, season 13 had like the lowest ratings ever. Um, it was the first time they casted a black housewife on New York. Also, remember, they canceled airing the reunion because allegedly there was a lot of drama that made Ramona look bad. So they just axed it all and just basically took a hiatus on how they are going to revamp this show. And so it looks like basically they are going to not only reboot the existing franchise, but they're going to do some sort of a spinoff of the previous housewives, previous New York housewives and such. That would be a part of that show. So the article reads as this. After a messy and low-rated 13th season at the iconic Real Housewives of New York City, which concluded in September without even holding a reunion. Well, technically there was one. We just didn't see it. Um, you know, basically they want to regroup. Fixing this important cornerstone in the franchise was, after all, crucial for the network. Andy Cohen, the longtime EP of Real Housewives, unveiled the team's radical new plan in an exclusive interview with Variety. The two-part strategy takes into account everything that our audience has been passionate about and has been telling us over the last year. It includes rebooting and recasting the series, most likely from scratch, launching a second new Real Housewives of New York series featuring former stars. I feel like they're going to do this with OC in Atlanta. Watch it. Watch it. You heard it here first. You know the word, a crossroads for Real Housewives of New York, Cohen said. We spend a lot of time figuring out where to go, and the plan that we come up with, I think, is a real gift to the fans. Bravo's first priority is to fix the mothership, a challenge Cohen looks forward to enthusiastically. There are thousands of stories to tell here, he said. This is the most multicultural, diverse, and energetic and exciting city in America. We are searching for a multicultural group of friends who really best reflect the most exciting city of the country. We're looking for a group of women who are really friends, who are of diverse backgrounds, race, and religion. But Real Housewives of New York has been a Bravo mainstay since it premiered in 2008 and quickly became part of the, um, you know, Zetagis in an order not to throw away what has worked for so many years. Cohen simultaneously announced a second Real Housewives of New York City that will feature ex-cast members from the original show over the years. Though there is no official title for this show yet, Cohen said it's being referred to internally as Real Housewives of New York Throwback or Real Housewives of New York Legacy. These Okay. As his in-depth interview with Variety um, below makes clear, Cohen declined to say who might be on that show, but says to expect Jill Zarin to be one of the first people to call him. Wait a minute. Why, why does the housewives have to call him? Aren't you the EP? Why aren't you recruiting them? <sighs> Affecting a perfect Zarin imitation, Cohen said Jill is going to be like, am I getting my apple back? And for as where the two shows will air, Cohen said that Real Housewives in New York reboot is being developed and produced for Bravo. But he thinks it's a question mark where the throwback will air since Peacock is an option. In season 13, Real Housewives in New York City was quite literally plagued because of COVID restrictions. Usual cast of five women, um, you know, it was like smaller um, for the first time in history. They included, of course, Ebony Williams, who was a black cast member. Um, traveled from empty restaurants to empty homes, having um, conversations about race and politics. It was joylessness that reflected in the season's low ratings and already a difficult to schedule reunion was scrapped when the network wonder where viewers would even want to watch one. That's not true. You guys did. Ear you guys did table reunion. I can't. I can't. An obvious question for the rebuted um, Real Housewives of New York City is whether Williams, who is popular with some segments of the audience, but less so with others, might be an anchor of the new show. We are interviewing multiple groups of friends, Cohen said. So certainly if Ebony is interested and has friends that would meet our casting goals, then of course they would be considered. Of course, Real Housewives of Atlanta, typically the most highly rated series in the Bravo Housewives portfolio, and the popular Real Housewives of Potomac both feature entirely black class. Well, that wasn't always the case with Atlanta because you definitely shoved Kim Zolciak down our throats for several seasons. So it wasn't always, quote, all black. Just saying. Um, 
And he said he doubts the new Real Housewives in New York City will go that way. I think it's a rainbow that New York City is. That's the goal. With the new throwback edition, Cohen said that the Housewives creative team learned key lessons from the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, which brought together cast members from different franchises and launched on Peacock in mid-November. With this new series, though, the women will be filmed with their lives in New York rather than sent to an island somewhere. Our loyal fans have spoken as to what they want to see and what they don't want to see, and we have taken that all into account, he said. And this is a series where you're going to expect fan favorites from the show's great history. It's organic, you know. They weren't in each other's lives. They are in each other's lives. He wants the fantasy casting to begin. We are looking at people who are beloved by fans. Cohen's use of beloved would suggest that Ramona Singer, an OG cast member for Real Housewives of New York, who's become an increasingly divis- di- <laughs> divisive figure in recent years, will not be a part of the throwback. But Cohen and a few um, Bravo spokesperson said official casting hasn't begun and wouldn't elaborate further on Singer specifically. Cohen isn't worried about casting for the throwback show. It's Real Housewives of New York reboot he's focused on, and he sounded grateful when discussing it. I've got to tell you that in almost my 20 years of working with Bravo, to me, this is the most exciting casting proposition that I've been involved with, he said. We are quite literally looking for who will be the new Real Housewives of New York City, and I think this represents a tremendous opportunity for rebirth of the show. What we are looking for is everything that makes a great Housewives fun, opinionated, successful, aspirational women who represent a side in New York that we want to see more of. Cohen discussed the particulars of the relaunch of the Real Housewives of New York City and its new sibling show. And he answered some additional questions. This article is like forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, anyways, so that's that. Um, I would say that Viacom CBS needs to take notes um, with the challenge. <laughs> it seems as though they were on the right path with Mark Long doing an All Stars um, version on Paramount Plus of some of our fan faves from real world and road rules and whatnot, but they need to take this approach to the challenge. What they should have announced is a focus challenge that is based off of your favorite real, um, you know, road rules and real world stars. And then this spinoff, you know, can kind of be like a new birth of that, right? That could feature more of some of your recent MTV reality shows like your Are You the One, like X on the Beach, and then sprinkle in Big Brother, sprinkle in Survivor, sprinkle in The Amazing Race and Love Island instead of the disaster that they decided to come up with like 10 spinoffs and some world the world's nonsense that is going to flop. Um, and it just felt very watered down and it feels like some of these challenges, I don't even know, like if we're really going to get to some of the iconic challenges in the spinoff, we'll see. But I definitely feel that Viacom could take notes in terms of turning the original flagship challenge back to the basics and then having a new version of the challenge that is going to be your more recent reality stars from not only your network, such as Are You The One, such as X on the Beach, um, and also incorporate your CBS reality shows. I thought that was going to be the approach of the CBS challenge spinoff, um, and that is not the case. But they definitely can take notes from Bravo. Like I said, I think that if this will be successful, like they experimented with Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, I think this is going to definitely, I think Atlanta and OC especially are next because those are the other two longest running housewife franchises and Beverly Hills is right behind them that need to be revamped. And that's really the issue at hand with these housewife shows, right? It gets to a certain point where the true relationships, the true bonds are no longer on the show anymore or real friendships completely go away or, you know, they let the show and the things involved with filming the show affect them to the point that they're not as close with their person that they actually know in real life and have spent time with their families and raising their kids together and everything else, they let the show tear them apart. 
instead of working together to make sure no matter what that their friendship is going to stay solid so um that's part of it the other part is of course the egos right so it's like when your first season you don't know how you're going to be portrayed you don't know how the fans are going to receive you so you can act any old kind of way like camille Grammer did and became a fan fave from beverly hills right but then when you start to read your press clippings kyle richards and then you completely change up and you play like this neutral role or this role that's like, I don't want to get into drama, but I'm going to have you come at my sister or I'm going to have you come at my family. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. So again, I think that this could be potentially a good thing. I don't think anything's ever going to happen to Ramona Singer, regardless of how much the fans complain. She's going to end up on one of these Real Housewives shows um, one way or the other. I would be shocked if Ramona Singer was nowhere near either franchise because they, for whatever reason, will continue to protect Ramona Singer forever and ever and ever and ever and ever on Bravo. So I think she's a shoe in one way or the other. Um, but I definitely expect this to be the next course of approach with Atlanta. Because I think this season is going to be very important. Not just for ratings, but also how the audience is going to perceive the new Peaches. Because for several seasons now, what does everybody complain about when the show airs, right? I miss Phaedra, I miss Nini, and blah, 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 blah. And then in this season, it's probably going to be I miss Portia, you know? So it's going to be very interesting when they announce the throwback version of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I think that is a possibility. And I think they would put Nini, Phaedra, and Portia as like the core of that. Watch. Watch it happen. Because they don't want... They, here's the thing. They don't want Carlos King to create his own Atlanta version on own network. You see how he scooped up Monique for the DC spinoff of Love and Marriage? Don't be surprised if they try to hurry up and usher in this Atlanta throwback housewives on Bravo so that they can keep their Bravo um, housewives. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting. It's just a matter of who gets there first. If Carlos King gets there first or if Andy Cohen announces first. But watch, one of them is going to have a throwback Atlanta spinoff that is going to incorporate Nini, Portia, um, and Phaedra somehow. Watch it happen and then come back to me and be like, yes, you told us so. <laughs> So those are all my thoughts. What do you guys think about the reboot and the revamp of Real Housewives of New York? How soon do you think this is going to be implemented across the other Housewife franchises that have been around for 10 plus years and everything else? And do you think that they will branch out and do Atlanta? And if so, who do you have being in the throwback for Atlanta? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.